It's globally one of the biggest Pride weekends of the year with large crowds gathering in major cities to celebrate. Check this out in San Francisco. It's the world's largest Pride laser, stretching more than four miles or six and a half kilometers. It's been lighting up the night sky all weekend leading up to Sunday's parade. This year's theme is looking back and moving forward. Many other parades, including in New York and Chicago, are also happening this weekend. Further south in Mexico, a big celebration in Mexico City this weekend. Thousands dressed in colorful and glittery costumes took to the streets for their pride parade. Mexico City is said to be home to the country's most visible gay community. Over in France, thousands more packed the streets of Paris. This parade follows a number of others in some of the smaller French cities. Organizers say the focus this year is to protest against homophobic and transphobic violence. They're reporting a rise in anti-2SLGBTQ plus incidents across the country as of late. And over in Singapore, the first Pride rally took place since a ban on gay sex was lifted last year. Up until recently, a man found to have committed, quote, gross indecency with another man could under law be jailed for up to two years, although it was not actively enforced. Such festivals like this had also been banned for several years. While some are noticing a softening in attitudes, others say there's still a lot of work to do. We recognize that post-repeal, um, people need a moment to breathe. Uh, and more importantly, we feel that change can only happen after the conversations. Back in Canada, our country's largest city is also celebrating, as people from across North America are in Toronto for the weekend's festivities. By the time it's all said and done, organizers are expecting the headcount to hit a record 2.7 million people. And organizers in Toronto, much like in other cities, say they also hope to highlight some of the struggles the gay community has faced and continues to face at home and around the world. Joe Scarpelli, Global News.